A dream come true for many people buying their first home. And Frank was no different. With one tiny little difference, he was indeed Frankenstein. But since he literally didn't want to be associated with the bloody history of Frankenstein, he broke up the name so he could have some sort of regular life. Another exception, he also looked just as you would expect Frankenstein to look. Eight foot tall, weird hairline, greenish skin, metal bolts on his neck. He wore a lot of scarves, and his stiff joints didn't help him make friends either, as it gave his walk a peculiar wobble. Finally, he could move into what seemed to be a picturesque neighborhood with kids playing in barbecues. Normal, Frank sighed as he thought to himself, this is what it must feel like. After a few days, Frank settled in what he had expected what he had seen on every movie and TV show he had ever watched. The Welcome Wagon. You know, those people who seem overly aggressively kind and nosy. They bring you pie and spy on your house. Those people. But they never came. Not one damn nosy neighbor. Or basket of crappy muffins. Nothing. Frank created a daily routine which was pretty boring as he worked from home and he didn't know the area. He considered going for a walk, but when he took out his garbage, a group of kids that had been outside riding bikes and playing stopped what they were doing, screaming in terror, pointed at him, and ran away. So staying close to home was the only wise choice. Frank had even decided to go out one night for a drive, trying to enjoy some scenery without being harassed. But when he came home, his house had been egged and covered in toilet paper. After a month of his dream of home ownership and friendly neighbors had been crushed, he heard a knock on the door. Thinking it was some kids being jerks, he hesitantly approached the door and looked through the side window that lined his front door. A smiling man in a short-sleeved button-up plaid shirt waved through the glass and said, Uh, hello. Hi, uh, yes, my name is Tom. I live two doors down and wanted to introduce myself. Is this a bad time? Frank just stared at this kind soul on his doorstep and wondered if this was just a cruel joke. Nevertheless, he opened the door and was met with Tom's outreached hand, and the man says, I realized I hadn't come over to say hi and see how you were settling in. The man's hand just waiting in the air for a responding handshake. Frank gripped the man's hand, and the man was on his knees in seconds. Oh, sorry, Frank says. I always forget my own strength. He releases the man's hand, and he helps him back to his feet. Frank steps aside to welcome the man into his home, shows him to the setting area, and retrieves a cold drink for the both of them. As Frank returns to the sitting area, he hears what sounds like eggs hitting his house. He slowly walks to the window to see if he can see anything or anyone, but there is no one in sight. He continues to stare to the window for a moment, depressed. He sighs. Hmm. After a moment, Tom says to him, You know, Frank, maybe we could have a neighborhood meeting here and just politely bring this up and just explain to everyone that all those stories are just stories and they aren't true then all these crazy rumors can stop and so will all this harassment. Frank turns away from the window slowly and looks Tom dead in the eyes and says, Oh, those stories and rumors? Yeah. He takes a sip of his drink and a menacing grin takes over his face as he says, Yeah, they're all true.